Black Light, Future Class, Future Cast, Three One Three in the woods by the lakes. You see, I'm the elder, the original Universal Supreme Conscious Council of the elders. My job is to give, to give advice, to supervise, to make you wise. To make you realize that all the power lies within you. You don't recognize power. You don't recognize truth as power. You don't recognize honesty as power. You don't recognize having morals as power. Truth is the supreme power of the universe. Mathematics is the language of truth. You know, if you want if you wish to follow an, an illusion, that's on you. You know, if uh, you don't study your history and don't want to study your history and you frown on your elders, that's on you. Now, the Caucasian, he knows that if he mingles with you, that you know, you'll dominate him. He won't be a Caucasian no more. Because the dominant gene is the black gene. All the other genes is recessive. And, you know, uh, just a matter of time, It'll start getting darker and darker. Pretty soon, black will dominate. So, the illusion is that he wants to mingle with you. You know. So he let a few of uh, his people uh, cohabitate with you. Then you start seeing what y'all call mixed babies. That's the new terminology. Mixed babies. Mix. Used to be mulattoes. You know. Then to ensure that the mulattoes won't mingle with the mandingos. They put a wedge in between the mandingos and the mulattoes. So they kept the mulattoes close to them. Or the mixed babies close to them. But, like I say, truth is truth. And over a period of time, the mulattoes and the mandingos will start mixing. Then you got a, 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 a darker breed coming in. So you're going you to name them uh, Puerto Ricans and Mexicans. You know. By dividing up 
the uh, continents and the nations and putting the label on all of them that's like uh, commerce the value to each uh, brand of, of blackness because you got cats my color now I could fall in a, in a spot if I knew uh, if I knew Puerto Rican if I knew a, a Spanish the Spanish language I could fall with I could roll with the with the uh, with the Puerto Ricans you know and I could but you know I'm not a Puerto Rican my mother my mother and my my old man they black you know but you got some black Puerto Ricans over there just like over in Cuba black it's always a caste system that's how he keeps 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 you divided now the Caucasian would disappear if they get if, if they mingle too heavy so you know they let a few y'all mingle down on the ground you know they let a few y'all mingle you know but the ones that control everything they go remain pure but there's some blackness up there too you know some black people in the in the, in the family of the Rothschilds you know but they keep them here not a sight you don't know you, you might you know just like in some black families there are some uh, damn near white uh, people but you don't see them that much well the same with the Rothschilds and the Rockefellers they got some black up there but you don't see them you know and they of that Rothschild blood so they want to continue on ruling so they put up an illusion for you to uh Patterning after them, you know, they want you to monkey see, monkey do. If uh, whatever is in with them is in with you, so that's that's the way it is, you know. Uh, so if you want the game to change, you got to change your mind, you know. You got to make up your mind that you want to change your mind. So you got to do a lot of studying. And what's been the what's been y'all problem, especially y'all youngers and the old ones too, is that you don't study for yourself. You know, uh, what I did was I grew up under the influence of the Most Honorable Elijah Muhammad. So when I went to school, I didn't go to school. I didn't have to go to school, you know. I just went to school to see if the Honorable Elijah Muhammad was right. And I went to Wayne County Community College back in the day where it was we had black nationals. You know, Wayne County Community College was founded by a black man, you know, and uh, he had he was leading towards a, a black curriculum back in them days. Now, that didn't change since then. But when I was going, it was you know, just kicking in and all my instructors was black consciousness black uh, uh, surrounded the black Madonna Muslims and through that I found out that uh most Honorable Elijah Muhammad was right. Now I can't speak for the the ones coming after him, you know, but I know study Elijah and his words. They they tried to change him too, you know, but you still, you know, you'll get the, the picture where he was coming from. Study his history. And Marcus Garvey and all the rest of them. 
and you know uh, for yourself you know go to the library or wherever you have to go go to the shrine of the black madonna but uh study for yourself don't rely on these people to uh to tell you because you don't know if they government sent you know they talk a whole lot of they talk too much black revolutionary you know you know we black power black power but they ain't really they just yelling black power black consciousness community but they really ain't ain't developing nothing you know but your dollars that's all you just call, they just pimping off your dollars some of what they say is right but when they start talking divisive like this one ain't like this group ain't right and this group ain't, you got to figure out why they try why they trying to divide the groups up this group they ain't saying that to the white man you know they picking a the beef among each other because they were sent to do that. So, if y'all y'all young people don't realize that, then that's on y'all. You know, y'all want to be led by anybody. You know, if anybody start talking against another brother, and he ain't talking against the, the Caucasian, and the Caucasian is, is the most divisive one of all. And you got to stay focused on the Caucasians, cause he the enemy. I ain't talking about the poor, the poor Caucasian that live in your neighborhood that work on your job. I ain't talking about them. I'm talking about the ones that's controlling the, the banks, the ones that's controlling the government. Them the ones that you got to stay on, keep their feet to the fire. The ones that poison the people up in Flint. And it's trying to poison Allen Park and more, more uh, surrounding areas here in Detroit. This is Black Light Out.